In this video, you'll learn how to end a thread. Hey there, this is Sarah with Notorious Needle, bringing you radical cross stitch design. By the end of this video, you'll know how to end a thread for cross stitch and other forms of embroidery. Let's get right into it. As you can see, I have stitched a bit of my project here and I am at the end of my floss. Uh, I am using four threads at a time um, because this is 11 count cloth and it, the fabric squares are quite large. So I'm using four uh, threads for full coverage. So there are a couple of ways you can end a thread um, <laughs> and you can do it however you like uh, but I don't recommend knots for a couple of reasons. When you knot on the back of your project, uh, depending on how you're going to end it. Now if you're going to end it in an embroidery hoop, it doesn't matter. You can just knot this little guy and move on. However, when you are stitching a project that's going to be framed, uh, or a project that folks are going to see the back of it, like a bookmark, uh, you want it to look a little neater. And when you when you knot it and frame a project that has knots on the back, the knots can sh not only show through to the front, uh, but they can like pucker and leave little bumps <laughs> on the front of your project. And then for something like a bookmark, when you can see the back, you don't want knots sticking out or whatever. But you can stitch a temporary knot called an away knot and this is also a method you can use to start a thread. Uh, let's say I bring this through and I know in my pattern I the next row of stitches is going to be right above the row that I've stitched. So if I pull this through I just drag it right on up over to this area here. I can tie a knot there and then when I do the next row of stitches here, I cover the thread in the back. See, this is this is the thread right here. And allow me to demonstrate. I'll tie this little knot here. Actually, I probably don't even have to tie a knot. All right, so I'm going to continue this project here. I'm gonna flip it over for loop start. Before I do that, I want to make sure that I'm going to cover this thread right here. So when I do the loop start, that thread is covered. Now I can continue my stitches. And uh, you can just hold that down here, make sure that it's out of the way. So now that thread is secure. The last stitches went over the little tail of the thread that I pulled up through to the front of the project. So now that that's secure, I can just cut that right off. All right, I don't know if you can hear that, but the air conditioning just kicked on. So I'm just gonna cut this really close. There, and that thread is now secure. I've stitched more of this little emoji project, uh, this little uh, poop emoji project, and as you can see, I've come to the end of another thread. So the other method of ending a thread I'm going to show you is how to bury the thread. All you do is you take the needle and you go under your stitches. I recommend going under at least three stitches to make sure that uh, the stitches don't fall out, um, and it doesn't matter what direction you go. You can go. Uh, horizontal, you can go diagonal, um, you can go vertical if your stitches are, are going that way. Um, I like to go horizontal 
that's just my style. You don't have to do it that way. So, uh, but this is how you would do it. You just put the needle under each thread, one thread at a time, and then you pull it through. Actually, let me do my other hand so you can see it better. And then you just cut off the extra. Like that. That's it, and that thread is now secure. If you have any trouble with that, let's say you can't get the needle under the stitches. Um, usually that means one of two things. Either your tension is too tight, and that just means that you're pulling too tight when you're stitching, uh, and that's easy to fix. Um, you can, before you end your thread, you can take your needle and you can loosen the stitches while it's still connected so that before you cut the thread, the thread would still be connected here. And you could go through and you could loosen up the last couple of stitches and then flip it over and swipe that needle right under those stitches. Another problem you might be having, uh, if you can't fit the needle under the back of the stitches, you might be using the wrong size needle. What I'm using for this project today is a size 24 tapestry needle, uh, and this is good. 24 and 22 tapestry needles are good for larger stitches. So this is 11 count Ada cloth, which is larger than what you would normally use. The standard is 14 count, and that means um, that would be 14 fabric squares per inch. And you could use um, a smaller needle and just re-thread that smaller needle and then try again and pull it through under the stitches. And those are the most two common problems you'll have uh, ending your thread. If you want to learn more about cross stitch, like how I started my thread, you'll want to check out the videos in the beginners um, cross stitch for beginners playlist. And if you'd like a free copy of this poop emoji pattern, um, I'm going to continue in future videos and you'll see it finished, uh, but that's also available in the description below. Stitch on!